Hey nature lovers, today we are looking at a bird that is widely known throughout the United States, the American Robin. And this is our organism of the week. The American Robin can be found in Mexico, the United States, and Canada, and they belong to the same family as bluebirds and other thrushes. There are seven subspecies of robins across their range. Rob American robins can have three broods each breeding season, and each brood can contain three to five light blue eggs. They can nest in trees or on or in outdoor fixtures and even on the ground at times. American robins may find themselves raising the young of cowbirds. Robins do not form lifetime bonds with their mates and will have a new mate every spring. The robin got its name from the colonist because it resembled the robin found in Europe. American robins begin the year feeding on insects and worms during the spring and summer, but they will also take fruit when it becomes available during the fall and winter. I have seen them in mulberry trees when they become available and in our cherry tree when the cherries come on. Robins that live up north will migrate to warmer climates. Some robins may migrate as far as 3,000 miles to find food and a warm place. Robins have a lifespan of around two years. Robins were affected by DDT, which is something that I was not aware of, so I learned something from this video. Hopefully, you learned a little something about American robins today. I'm back to doing three videos a week, so I look forward to seeing you those three days, which are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Unless something happens, and I'll let you know. If you learned something from today's video, please give it a like, subscribe if you're not, and leave a comment. Today's question is, do you have American robins nesting in your yard? And if you don't, what birds do nest in your yard? And I will talk to you later. Goodbye.